The Mysterious English Class Adventure Once upon a time in the small town of Wonderville, there was a school named Bright Future Academy. It was known for its colorful classrooms, cheerful students, and most importantly, its amazing English teacher, Ms. Eloise. Ms. Eloise had bright green eyes, curly brown hair, and a smile that could light up the darkest day. However, she had a little secret. Every evening when the sun dipped below the horizon, Ms. Eloise would sneak into the school. But this wasn't just any ordinary visit. She would meet her friend, Mr. Tibbles, a clever talking cat who lived in the school library. Yes, you heard it right, a talking cat. He was wise and often helped students with their homework. But he had one wish. He wanted everyone in Wonderville to practice speaking English fluently, including teachers. One rainy day, while the students were busy learning vocabulary, Ms. Eloise received a mysterious letter slid under her classroom door. The letter read, Dear Ms. Eloise, if you want to save Wonderville from a terrible fate, you must gather your students and practice speaking English every day. The clock is ticking. Sincerely, the Language Guardian. Ms. Eloise's heart raced. What terrible fate. Was it about her students? Class, everyone, listen up, Ms. Eloise called, gathering her students. We have a very important task ahead of us. The kids looked puzzled. We must practice speaking English together. But it's not just for fun. It's to save Wonderville. The classroom buzzed with excitement and confusion. But Ms. Eloise, why is speaking English so important? asked Sarah, a curious girl with bright red glasses. Well, Ms. Eloise began, speaking English helps us express our thoughts clearly. It connects us to the world. The more we practice, the more confident we become. Just then, Mr. Tibbles jumped onto the windowsill. That's right, and I have some fun ideas for you. The students gasped. A talking cat? How cool! Mr. Tibbles continued. Let's play games. Let's have conversations. We'll even do silly role plays. But first, we need a plan. The students nodded eagerly, ready for the challenge. They formed groups, and each group had to come up with a way to practice speaking every day. For the first week, the students practiced during recess, using toy animals to create funny stories. One day, Sarah pretended to be a cat, while her friend Tom acted like a dog. Meow! Let's go on an adventure! Sarah purred while Tom barked. Woof! Let's find a treasure! They giggled as their classmates joined in, turning the playground into a theater of fun. However, as the weeks passed, strange things began happening. One by one, students started forgetting their words. It was as if a word thief had stolen their vocabulary. I can't remember how to say apple, complained Mia, looking worried. What's happening? The students looked around, unsure of what to do. Determined not to give up, Ms. Eloise and Mr. Tibbles organized an emergency meeting. We need to discover who or what is taking our words, Ms. Eloise exclaimed, her voice trembling with urgency. Mr. Tibbles suggested, let's create a detective club. We can solve this mystery together. The students loved the idea. They became the word warriors, wearing detective hats and carrying magnifying glasses. They searched high and low, questioning other teachers and students. Have you seen any strange characters? Have you lost any words? They asked. One evening, while searching through the dark library, they stumbled upon an old book covered in dust. It was titled, The Secrets of the Language Guardian. What if this book holds the key to our problem? Sarah said, flipping through the pages. As they read, they learned about a mischievous spirit that loved to play tricks on those who didn't practice speaking. 
the spirit could make words disappear. This must be the cause, shouted Tom. We need to confront this spirit, declared Mia. The group decided to set a trap using a special speech competition as bait. They planned a big event, inviting everyone in Wonderville. They would showcase their English-speaking skills and draw out the spirit. On the day of the competition, the school auditorium was packed. Ms. Eloise introduced the students, who shared funny stories, silly poems, and even songs. Let's show the spirit what we can do, she cheered. The crowd laughed, clapped, and cheered louder than ever. But just as the last student finished, the lights flickered, and a gust of wind rushed through the room. A shadowy figure appeared. Who dares challenge me? It boomed, its voice echoing like thunder. The students stood their ground, holding hands. We are the word warriors, they shouted together. We practice speaking English every day. You will not steal our words. The spirit laughed mischievously. You think practicing makes you strong? Let's see if you can keep it up. With a wave of its hand, the spirit challenged them to a game of rapid-fire questions. What's your favorite food? What's your dream job? Go! The students took turns, answering quickly, excitedly, and loudly. Pizza! yelled Tom. I want to be a doctor! shouted Mia. With every answer, the spirit seemed to grow weaker, its shadow fading. I can't take this. You're too powerful, it screeched, before vanishing into thin air. The auditorium erupted in cheers. The word warriors had done it. They had saved Wonderville from the word thief. Ms. Eloise hugged each student, proud of their courage and teamwork. You see, practicing English is not just about speaking. It's about connecting with each other. And when we connect, we become stronger. From that day on, the students continued practicing every day, sharing stories, playing games, and helping each other improve. They discovered that speaking English was not just a task. It was an adventure filled with laughter and friendship. They even started a club called the English Explorers, where they invited teachers and parents to join in. In the end, Wonderville became a place where everyone spoke English confidently, and the mysterious letter became a cherished story of bravery. The moral of the story? Practicing speaking English not only builds fluency, but also creates bonds and friendships that can conquer any challenge. And as for Ms. Eloise and Mr. Tibbles, they continued their nightly adventures, always ready to inspire the next generation of English speakers, armed with the power of words and the spirit of fun. And so, the tale of the mysterious English class adventure came to a close, but the lessons learned would last forever.